three brand new camos have just been added in and I think they might be some of the best in the game. So let's go unlock them. And the best part about these camos is not only do they look great, but they should be super easy to unlock. For one of them, all we gotta do is get to the very top of the get higher mode. And for another, we gotta get to the very top in under 10 minutes. And for the last one, we need to find all 12 little coins. So that way we can use those to get into the castle there at the top. And if everything goes right, I'm going to try to get them all done in one game. Keyword there being try. But our first coin should be right down here. So let's pick that up. And then what happens if we go out this way? I oh, mean, just get right back to the action. Awesome. And I'm almost positive I know where all the coin locations are, but I might miss a few. We might have to do a few runs here. But I know there's another one right through here. Got to grab that. And really hope that we don't miss grabbing another one. Because it would suck to get all the way to the top and only have 11 coins. Or just be one off. But I really do have to head into Sledgehammer here. This mode is so much fun for it being like a throwaway mode that they added in originally to the 420 event. There's also another coin. Then them coming back and revamping it. Making it so much better. Adding in a bunch of more layers to it and adding rewards for completing it and completing certain challenges with it is just awesome. I love it. They've absolutely been killing it with the post-launch content of this game. And them making some like vaporwave synthwave theme camos with that being like one of my favorite like aesthetics ever. It's just a nice little cherry on top. You just gotta appreciate that. And we get our first little shortcut here. Somebody's already on it. So hopefully they can make it through. Oh no, them falling, that works too. Oh, I'm falling too. Hold on. Let me show this guy how it's done. Drop down here, completely miss it. Perfect. We're just gonna take turns dying here, but it's so worth it if we can get it down. The thing I find the hardest to do is to drop straight down off of one of these. I think I just need to tap S and not jump. No need to jump. Perfect. Dude, why are you doing this? There's not enough room for both of us here. Go ahead, go. Scram. All right, I'll do it then. Let's not miss this. Oh, why do I do this? Why do I panic? I just panic jump. We had it. I was on there twice. All right, we got it this time around. Grab on. Drop down. Perfect. Let's move over here. Then to this one. And this one. Can't mess up the last jump. Perfect. Whew. And there's one easy coin to miss over here. And if we just make it to this side jump over to here and we can grab it now unfortunately when this mode first launched the camos were not able to be unlocked for like oh what was it like 20 something hours like they just patched it today on the on the 4th of july and i'm doing this after i i got back from some festivities but i did get to practice the course a little bit prior to the camos being available to unlock so at least i have some map knowledge here and that's got us five coins out of 12. I feel like there has to be a coin up this way, right? Why would they have all that there? Just a shortcut? But also there can't be, because I know there's a coin right over here. Like once we head through this, we hop this, we can drop down to here, walk the type rope and grab it. And there's a secret room right here that I want to get into. Well, let's go through and grab this checkpoint first. And I want to make sure there's not a coin in this room. No, this is definitely not the smart way to do this. But we made it in. Just gotta crouch through. It's very pink in here. But it should lead us to something good, right? What's going on, man? Nice little secret room and another coin. Now we get to go through. And then can I make this insane strafe jump? Yeah. Nope. One more time. Yeah. Nope. You know what they say, third time's the charm? And we got it, perfect. And then we just gotta run through this hallway. Sneak to the middle there. Oh, there's a coin on top. We gotta make it up there. We can do that. We just come back here. Jump on top this way. And we run through the middle. And just grab that and head back down. And we're good to go. Oh, we could have just kept going through here. I didn't realize this was the next area. And what is this? What does this do? It looks like a button I can push. Oh, did it open up a secret area? Or that just happened? What goes on down here? Nothing? I come down here for nothing? And now I'm trapped. Hello? What did I just do? What did that open up for? Is that the, the dumbass button? Did I hit the dumbass button? No way. I think I did. Someone else hit the button for me, please. <laughs> Let me out. Okay, well, we're in a bit of a pickle. Why do they have this room? Why? 
why am I trapped in this prison? All right, well, at least this uh, keeps our hope alive of getting them all done in one game. Now we have a little bit more map knowledge and we know not to come into here. And since I think there's no way out of here. Oh, wait, no, I figured it out. There's still hope of us finishing the map on this run. <laughs> Even if it's just a small sliver, as we know, there's another coin right in here. Let's grab that and maybe we can finish this. Maybe we only have three minutes. And can we make it through that? Nope. Immediate death. Now let's try this again. We don't have to rush it. We can kind of walk it. Maybe we can't. Let's try again. This one we can walk. And then we wait a... Nope. Can't wait a second. No waiting. We just got to run it and be accurate with it. Let's try it again. Third time's the charm, like they say. Beautiful. Oh, we only got 30 seconds. I don't know if we're making it through this. I don't think it's possible. We did find another coin. How many are we at? 10 out of 12. So there's only two more to get after this point. And I think we're good on all the locations. Yeah, that's game. We somehow made second place. How? Did everybody leave? Because we were not doing anything. All right, last game was a warm up. This one's for real. Ain't nothing can stand in our way this time. I got too much map knowledge, too much experience now. This map's never seen a run like mine. We're already two coins deep. Make that three. So far, so good on this run. Let's not jinx it. Ooh. Almost through right there. Keep it moving. Get the fuck out of the way. This guy's too scared to play. I gotta switch sides. Ah, oh, motherfucker. He threw me off. Still moving at a good pace. The shortcut should help us out. And we got four coins. Quick little five piece. And if we can do this part of the run flawlessly, we'll still make good time. Jump through here. Wait for the middle to come back. There it is. We grab that. Wait on the edge. Crouch and just slightly walk off. We made it. Perfect. Give me that. And if I can just nail this jump. Nope. All right. This is what we're going to do then. Go to here, go to here, make it up this way, and we'll make it past this part through this. Quick dodge of the walls. Once we get through that, loop around this way, hop onto here. Okay, we're making good progress. Grab that, and I saw you can do a skip if you go through here. You can climb onto this. Just like this guy's doing. And we just have to drop down to this platform and we can make it up to this coin. And then run back through here. So far, so good. Somebody's already like torching us on time, but it's all right. We're probably torching them on coins. And the one coin we missed last time was through here. We make it to the end. We just have to wait a second and jump down. Go down through here. And look at that. Where does this lead to? Is this just another way down? Oh no, it's another way up. Sweet. I don't know if the portal's faster or if going the, the jump way is faster, but we just took the jump. But either way, we're making it out of this game with a camo. That's 100% guaranteed. Ain't no way we fumble this run. We got so much time left. And that should be what, 11 out of 12? Yep. Just need one more. I think we just need to do the rest of the course as normal until we get to those falling pillars. Because there used to be a secret spot over by those pillars. I think it's still there with uh, the skeleton watching the TV. But there's one on the other side of it. So we just run through here. Please don't fall. We're already doing so good. Wait for this. I think we got it. Because we're right at the castle. We just need to drop down here. And it's right in that spot. Just go ahead and lower. Let me down. And let me in. This is probably the most beautiful looking room. Nice little palm trees. And we basically got it. You know, make our way up the stairs. That should be a camo right there. Yes, sir. Didn't show up though. Gave us a blank camo. And was that under 10 minutes? How much time do we have in this? Did we just barely miss it? Oh, well, either way, we got enough coins. Oh, we made it in. So what are we doing here? Oh, there's a synth bust. And here do we just stick around? We just run around and get as many points as we want from these little targets. 
This just reminds me of like the, the Smash Melee where they have the break the target mode. But since our other two cameras showed up, I think the 10 minute one would have showed up if we had it. We might've been a few seconds off. And if we didn't stop to try to get all those coins, we for sure can get this in under 10 minutes. That's an easy first place. Maybe even the easiest first place of my life. So we got our synth bust. We got our grid locked, but we didn't get shifting grid. But it says that we completed the challenge. Let's just go try to get an under 10 minute run real quick. This is about to be the fastest run you guys have ever seen. I'll learn how to do anything for our camo. We are zooming through this now that we don't got any coins weighing us down. Our pockets were too fat last time. Now I'm light as a feather. You know, Sledgehammer put so much work into designing and making all these like cool maps like this and those custom zombies versions of the multiplayer maps. Why can't we just use those in custom games? Like, let's get them in private matches. Let me go through and experience them without all the, the chaos of multiplayer or trying to fight through people to get to the top of this. Like, why don't we make the, the castle area into a multiplayer map? That'd be sweet. I'd love that. I'd be on that map constantly getting thumbnails. And I am just smoking everybody in this. No way anyone's catching up to me. Not a chance. Especially now that I know all the shortcuts. Easy peasy. Oh, we are so far ahead. Nobody's touching us. Let's just hope that this is a good enough run to get us under 10 minutes. I feel like there's no way it's not. Oh, this is a bit of an insane skip if we can get this. These blocks are so tiny. They're like little slimes from Minecraft. Oof. We're still killing it. Oh, of course. Nope, we're making it. We're good. We're fine. We still got about eight minutes left in this, what, 15 minute game? So that means we should still be under 10 minutes. We just got to finish this now. No fuck ups. Oh, we're already right there. Let me up. And we're just about done. Just got to make it through this part. <gasps> Come on, let me up. Perfect. Did we do it under 10 minutes? Show me the camo. Yes, sir. Shifting grid, baby. What was my time? Does it say? I wish it said. Because there's still a whole seven minutes left in this game. And unfortunately, we didn't grab all the coins. You know what? Maybe we can, we can do it on another run. That'd be insane. Wait a minute. There's a skip right here. This is crazy. How much can I skip going this way? Hey, you can go right up to here. What? Okay, maybe we won't be able to make it all the way back up there with all the coins, but we did a pretty decent job. We got up to, this will be our last coin. Eight coins on our second run through this. That's not bad. Another first place and another camo down. Now let's take a look at the most beautiful camos in the game. This is the first one, the non-animated one. Just a little grid on it. A little purple and green. Not too bad. And then we get to the fun stuff. This one is fully animated. The grid's moving around and it changes colors. It goes from the pink to blue to purple to green. There's just all kinds of colors in here and it just looks great. What an awesome camo. And perhaps the best one out of the bunch. This one has the bust on it. And it has the nice little moving background with the little purple and pink colors, a little blue in there too. I never thought we'd get a Vaporwave camo this perfect. So, you know, I had to go ahead and throw it on our Vel 46 that already has the Vaporwave aesthetic on it. And I just think it looks beautiful. What a great game mode and great rewards for it. 10 out of 10, Sledgehammer. And of course, when you bring it into a dark area, they'll glow and it looks so much more vibrant in here. They really could not have done better with these camos, I don't think. This is beautiful. If I ever got a creator bundle, this is exactly what my weapons would look like. This almost looks like a pack-a-punch camo. It's, it's just so perfect. And here's our other animated camo in the dark. Oh, I love how many camos they're adding in that just glow. They are killing it with the camos. Don't think they've missed on one yet. And I think this grid one glows too. Even though it's not animated still, it has a little pop to it in the dark. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I will see you in the next one. Later.